Hey YouTubers, um, my Mazda remote keeps giving me problems. Put in a new battery, it doesn't work, or it works for a couple days. It's not the battery, the remote has an issue, and I'm going to show you how to repair it or replace your battery, whichever you think you need to do. First thing you need to do is pull the key out. Okay, and then you'll see that there's a seam right here. On both sides of the seam, I just take a razor or very, you know, something sharp and thin, and just pop it on both sides. Get into the seam and pop it on both sides. Once it's popped, then you can stick something a little fatter in there and work your way down the unit, and it'll come apart. There you go, and everything pops out. The battery slips into this slot. This O-ring goes over this cap so it seals it okay the problem I kept having is they put in a battery and it wouldn't work these little tines in here these right here they make contact with the battery and they also make contact right over here as well if these tines are pushed down your remote will work but it'll work in intermittently it won't work well so what I do is just take your razor blade or something thin that you can get in there and slightly raise those tines so when the battery goes in there it will make good contact on both ends it's kind of pushing up a little bit as you can see and you're going to take your cap with your o-ring don't forget the o-ring the o-ring keeps water out if you drop it and you push that down into place now again it's going to want to pop up and just place this cap over the center, you know, or line it up and snap it back on. Oops. All snapped back on. Voila. And you press the button and it lights up. Um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.